Let's talk about the mindset of eating and the psychology of hunger with some tips to help you control your weight. The problem that most people have is they fall into what's known as the diet trap. Now the diet trap is as follows, people think they're going on a diet. Now this is not a word that I like to use. When people put themselves on a diet, this can obviously lead to hunger. Hunger will lead to overeating um, because you feel you want stuff so you might go for the extra binge. Then you, feel, then you feel guilty for doing this, you feel out of control, this can help you feel depressed. If you feel depressed you want more comfort eating and this, so you eat a bit more and then you put yourself on the diet and you feel hungry again and you're round and round and round. This is called the diet trap. So how do you get around that? Well firstly, there are physiological effects from being on, the, on a diet. When you restrict your eating, um, your metabolic rate slows down because your body tries to hold on to, to what it's got and so that's, it's harder to lose weight. Obviously you're feeling hungry as well when you're not having as much food. If you lose weight too quickly, it's known that you put weight back on um, quite rapidly again, so the whole diet's been a waste of time. So when you're dieting, it can affect your mood. You feel low because you like food, we all like food. And when you feel low, it can lead you to want to overeat again. And this affects your mood. So you feel, you feel depressed and low, so you want to eat more. The problem with following a so-called diet is it's very much a short-term thing. And you need to be changing your, your permanent eating habits. It's okay to have the occasional treat and it's okay to indulge now and again. Just don't do it too often and just try and make your normal eating habits good and controlled. Try and eat regular meals with good food choices and we all know what good food choices are. Dieters often eat more so-called forbidden foods than non-dieters. So this is the point I'm trying to make, you know, stick to eating good eating habits all the time. And don't compare yourself to other people. You might say, oh, he or she can eat what they like, they don't put on any weight. You're not them, you're your own. You've got a different metabolism, different physiology, different psychology as well. So don't compare yourself to other people. Just try and look at your own eating habits and the way you behave towards food. We often associate food as a reward. We do well, oh, I'm gonna have a treat, I'll treat myself because I've worked really hard today. Or we associate um, eating with doing other activities, popcorn at the cinema, takeaway on a Friday night. So to try and overcome the diet trap, set yourself realistic goals. And these, these goals shouldn't be weight focused. It shouldn't be about um, weighing yourself and saying, oh, by an X amount of time, I need to lose X amount of pounds. That's wrong. Don't focus on that. If you focus on certain dietary changes, nutritional habits, then the weight will take care of itself. Stop counting calories as well. Don't count calories. Just look at the food, look at your portion size. A good tip here is dish food up away from the table and leave the, um, the rest of the food on the side and only have your plate on the table so you won't be tempted to say, oh, I'll just dish myself up a little bit more. Eat what's on the plate, no more. Obviously, do more exercise. Now this has multiple benefits. Not only have you got the health benefits of exercise, but you're burning calories, it's gonna help you lose weight. And also keeping yourself occupied while you're exercising, you're not gonna to wanna to eat so much. So it's a nice interest to take your mind off the food as well. Listen to the body signals and try to recognize the different types of hunger. You've got mouth hunger um, or psychological hunger, you've got stomach hunger or physiological hunger. The latter is true hunger, that's when you really need something. You, you just, you're due to have a meal soon and you're, you're genuinely hungry. Mouth hunger is when you, you fancy the taste of something. It's not true hunger, it's just, or you want to eat something, maybe because you're bored or you're feeling down. Try to recognise the different types of hunger and only eat when you've got genuine um, stomach hunger. One thing that people do when they're going on a diet is they try and miss meals thinking, oh, I don't need that meal. I'm not really hungry here, so I'm not going to have the meal. That's wrong. You need to have the right sort of foods regularly throughout the day to keep your metabolism working regularly. If you do want to check your weight, if you're you know, trying to control your weight, I can see why you want to do that. But don't do it too often. Certainly no more than once a week and try and do it on the same set of scales at the same time of day wearing the same clothes. Try to keep eating a separate activity, only eat at meal times. Try to only eat with other people. If you've got family members, then eat at meal time with the family. Don't eat when you're watching TV. Try not to have popcorn at the cinema um, and other treat things. If you do feel the urge to eat in the evening, which is the time that many of us feel the urge to eat extra treat foods, there's some control tactics. Stop, look at the clock and wait half an hour before you, um, you have that food. You know, that half an hour might mean at the end of it, you don't want it anymore. If you do, okay, have it, but you've demonstrated some control. And the next day, maybe try that, but wait 40 minutes and so on. You're taking control, the food's not taking control of you. Another tip is to clean your teeth after your evening meal. 
um, or have a minty mouthwash then. We often associate um, cleaning our teeth with the last thing we do at our mouths at night and minty mouthwash can take away the cravings for other foods. If you do overeat, have a binge or if you do think you've blown it by having a huge meal, don't worry, just leave it at that. Just immediately get back on to your eating regime um, to get back on track. You haven't blown it, it's just one meal. It's not the end of the world. Don't be a Monday person. Get out of the Monday mindset where you think, oh, I've messed it up this week, I'll start on Monday. That's typical of most of us. Why not start straight away at the next meal? Not even the next day, the next meal. Get back on track. If you are feeling peckish and you feel like you're gonna blow it if you don't have something, have some fruit. Um, chopped vegetables are great, raw carrots, cucumber, celery, cherry tomatoes, all good choices. But if they're not gonna do it, you know, try things like chewing some sugar-free gum or sugar-free jellies or jellos, they can be great too. Don't think of yourself as being on a diet. Try to improve your general eating habits. Make good food choices routinely. Um, try and control your portion size. Don't eat too much at meals and try and avoid picking and binging when you, you don't need to. Um, do make eating uh, meals a separate activity. Try and do it with other people and um, try and um, take control of your eating. Don't let food take control of you and get out of that Monday mindset. For more nutrition tips, go to yule.com and check out our guides and articles, or you can check out more of the videos on our YouTube channel.